You might have been holding the Galaxy Note 9 for quite a few months now and you may have missed a few things. So here are 7 things that will make your Note 9 look good and do cool things. The Note 9 always on display is probably the most you see on the screen and it will always help you to put up something interesting. You could actually put up these really cute GIFs that are simple and tasteful. To do this go into settings, go into lock screen and then click on clock style. At the bottom you'll see add GIF and then just select from one of these GIFs that are already there. In case you want to apply your own, download an app like Wall Loop. There's an AMOLED section where you can download some wallpapers and then go into gallery, open that picture and then tap set as always on display picture. And then you can also increase the size uh, within the box. And once you're satisfied, just hit done, lock your screen and you can see that it's been applied. And guys, before moving on to the second one, it'll be great if you could support my channel by liking this video, subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell icon so you never miss a video. Next, you have an inbuilt analyzer in the camera. So if you go into camera, you'll see this eye icon that's Pixby Vision and it's highly underrated. There are a couple of modes, but the first one you want to know is that there's an inbuilt QR code scanner. So you don't have to download and install a separate app for it. You could also scan food items and it'll tell you the nutritional value in that. So you'll know how many kilocalories each food item has. Uh, there's also a place radar sort of a thing. It tells you all places around you that you could go visit. And then there's an image analyzer, which you could pretty much, uh, you know, point your camera at something and it'll tell you what it is. So for example, this is my MX Master 2S mouse and it just recognizes that. It does that for my Tascam DR40 digital recorder as well. So it's pretty powerful. You could also go and download more plugins. So there's Adobe Scanner, the Samsung Mall and the Amazon Assistant. So if you're looking for something to buy, it'll show up. And the Adobe Scanner would just, you know, scan your documents and visiting cards as well. So the Galaxy Note 9 comes with four edge lighting styles by default. So every time you get a notification, the edge of your screen lights up and it looks really cool. But again, there are only four pre-installed in the Galaxy Note 9. Now, if you see on my phone, I've got five more and you're not going to have that by default. And I've got, you know, they're called Celebration, Loop, Galaxy, Boomerang and Fluid. And all of these are customizable so you can change their color and transparency. To get it, just go into Galaxy apps on your phone, search for Edge Lighting Plus the same way as you see here. Now you'll see it is from Samsung, so it's pretty legit. Just install them and you'll have the extra five lighting styles on your settings. Next, I can use the Galaxy Note 9's camera to extract text from anything that's in front of me. I just take a picture, go into gallery and then take the S Pen out. Use the command menu and select Smart Select. And then I just draw this box around the text from where I want the extraction done. It'll give me this option called Extract Text. Tap on it and you will see it just takes out all of that text and gives it to you. You can copy and paste it anywhere or you could just hit share and directly share it with anyone. I also gave it another shot, uh, you know, taking a picture of the Godiva's uh, chocolate nutritional information. And I think it did a pretty good job, you know, it just quickly extracted text for me and it's right here in front of you. It's pretty cool. Next, you will see that my entire Note 9 has a really slick dark theme. It's really easy on the eyes and it looks really good. And it's a battery saving technique as well because it's an AMOLED display and black pixels typically mean switched off pixels, which saves you a ton of battery. Now, you can see that all of my apps, whether it's files, gallery, calendar, the alarm clock, all of that are black and they look really good. Now to do this, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is go into Galaxy theme store, tap on themes, and then, you know, you could just scroll through a bunch of available themes that are there and look for the black ones. What I do is just search for black under themes, and then you'll see this whole list of dark themes that are available. Some of them are paid, some of them are free. So if you like, you can pay, you can download a trial like I have with this red colored theme. It looks really good. It's just like for a dollar and I would not hesitate to buy this one either. So feel free to explore and install. The next thing you can do on your Galaxy Note 9 is to enable gesture navigation. Now it's not a feature in the Note 9, but it's really useful. And if you don't already know about it, it's really easy gestures to navigate. So a simple swipe from bottom of the screen is home, press and hold, it's recent apps. And if you just swipe from the left bottom edge, if, you're, if it's on your left hand, it's all back, back, back. You can do that with your right hand as well. And even better, the functions for quick swipe and long swipe are different. So you can configure 
the swiping gestures to do multiple things and not just navigate. As you can see, I can, you know, I have two functions for each swipe. The app that you would need for this is Fluid Navigation Gestures. It's available in the Play Store, but to be able to use this, you'll have to run a few ADB commands. Do not worry, it's absolutely safe, it's very easy, and anyone can do it if you follow the instructions. So there's a card on the top right corner of this video. Tap that and you will see step-by-step -step instructions as to how you can do it. Or you could just wait for Android Pie to come to the Galaxy Note 9 in March 2019, and you will get this feature in that. And the last thing I want to talk about are video wallpapers, just because they look really good on the Note 9's display. And I may have talked about them earlier in my videos, the Note 9 videos as well, but that's simply because I think it's really underestimated. So to get them, go into settings, go into wallpaper and themes, and then go into search, and then, oops, sorry, uh, tap into video wallpaper. You might have to search that, and then once you do, you would get this list of multiple video wallpapers. Now tap on one of them, and inside you can see there's a video and that basically would show you a preview of what it would look like. Download, install and you're all set. So guys, these were seven things that you could do more with your Galaxy Note 9 now that you've spent a lot of time using the basic features. So hope I was able to help you guys. See you in the next one.